Hey guys, this is Saurav Nahai from All Bot Technologies and in this video let's unbox the Infinix Smart 2 smartphone which is a budget smartphone from Infinix. Now this is a smartphone which is an ultra budget smartphone so let's call it that and this device comes with 16 GB of storage and 2 GB of RAM. Now if we take a look at the rear side you can see all the details and other stuff over here but we will talk about all the specs later on. But the good thing that I liked over here on the box is that they will give you a free upgrade to one Android version, which is a really good thing. And this device comes with Android 8.1 Oreo out of the box. So you should get the Android P update, which is cool. And yes, it's a made in India smartphone. Now the price mentioned here is 6,999, but you can get it on Flipkart for 5,999. I'll leave the link in the description box. So do use my link if you are interested in buying the device as that will help out the channel. That's pretty much it now. Let's unbox the device. All right, guys. So opening up the box on the top is the smartphone and there is no sticker on the top, but they have pre-applied a screen protector on the device, which is a cool thing. I feel it's in black color and it looks quite good. But as always, I'll keep it aside for now as we will take a look at it in a bit. Let's see what else do we get. So inside the box, you get a power adapter with an output rating of 5 volts at 1.2 amperes, a flat style USB to micro USB cable, and lastly, some documentations in which we are not interested. So let me keep it aside. And that's pretty much it from the box pack. Now talking about the specs, this device comes with MediaTek 6739 chipset, which is a quad core processor clocked at 1.5 gigahertz with Power VR Rogue GE8100 GPU with 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage. Now on the front is a 5.45 inch HD display and it's a HD plus display with an aspect ratio of 18 is to 9 and the display has good viewing angles. So no complaints for now, at least now on top of the display is an LED notification light, 8 megapixel front facing camera with F 2.0 aperture and dual LED flash. Rear camera on the other hand is a 13 megapixel one with f2.0 aperture and dual LED flash. Battery here is a 3050 mAh capacity which is sealed inside but the cover can be removed as you can see it over here. And there are three slots, two for dual 4G VoLT SIM cards. Yes, it supports dual 4G VoLT which is just amazing to see at this price point right now. And another awesome thing is that there is a dedicated SD card slot so you can expand up to 128 GB. Also on the rear side is the speaker which is average and here is how it sounds. At the bottom are the micro USB port, primary microphone and a headphone jack. On the right is the power button and on top of that are the volume control keys. Buttons overall are made out of plastic, but they are of decent quality. So guys, now let's take a look at the software of this device. So as you can see, there are a couple of pre-installed applications here, like this browser, phone master, and you can also see this X club over here and some other applications are pre-installed by the company. And there is also this Flipkart application, but then you can get rid of it if you don't want. So yeah, there are a couple of pre-installed applications, but then you can uninstall them. Anyways, now let's go into the settings and see the Android version and some other stuff. So this device comes with Android 8.1 Oreo out of the box, which is a good thing in my opinion for this device, which is priced under 6,000 rupees. And it comes with May security patch, but you will get the update for July security patch once you connect it to Wi-Fi. And they have also promised a one-time Android update, which should be Android P. So that is also a very good thing in my opinion. Now the storage that you get here is 8.68 GB out of that 16 GB and RAM available is around 1 GB out of that 2 GB, which is decent again. There are a couple of features as well, but I'm not really going to get into that. Also guys, if you see UI feels smooth and responsive for the price, but then these are just my initial impressions. Also, one thing to note is that there is no fingerprint scanner here, which is fine since this device is under 6,000 rupees. But what I liked is that they have given face unlock, which works really well for a 6,000 rupees phone, as you can see it over here. Now, in terms of sensors, there are only three of them, which is light, proximity and accelerometer. So just keep a note of that. Lastly, here are some samples that I've shot with this device. Let me know what you feel about these samples. 
And also let me know what you feel about this device for 6,000 rupees in the comment section. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. That just makes me happy. So please do that if you like this video and if you like my content. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you get notified whenever I come up with such amazing videos for you guys. Make sure to follow me on all my social media networks. Links will be there in the description box. That's it, guys. This is Saurav Nahar. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.